Okay, uh, now we'll see about the event type star in Informatica. So before going to event type star, what is event type? So event type is a one of the tasks. So it will go into wait until the file which uh, we need to place into the source location. So if the file is placed in the source location, it's automatically triggered. So that is a event wait task. So if you have any doubt about the event wait task, you can see my video. That event wait task already uh, I done that video. So now we'll see about the event wait task. Okay. So uh, for example, if you have uh, more than uh, five or six sessions in our mapping, so first is it will start from start. This is my workflow. Like, put the start button. I have uh, different types of uh, sections, different uh, number of sections are there. For example, this is section one, section two, section three, section four, section five, section six, and this is section seven. Okay, for better understanding, I'm going to give the number. This is session one, this is two, and this is three, and this is four, this is five, and this is six, and this is seven. Okay, so I'm connecting these sessions with the link like this. Okay. I want to connect the sessions like this. Okay. Okay, if I run this workflow, so what would be my order? So my order is like, so first of all, it will take, it will take, okay, staff only like this. So maybe it will uh, run the, maybe it will run the first session. Next, fourth session and seventh session. Or maybe it will run fourth session, first session, seventh session. Or seventh session, seventh session, First session, fourth session, like that. Okay. So likewise, it will run. So after completion of this parallel running, after completion of this parallel running, so it will go to sequential. For example, uh, first session is running, running successfully. So then automatically two and three sessions will run sequentially. And so if this uh, if the fourth session runs successfully means fifth and sixth will run sequentially. Okay. So likewise, uh, the sessions are going to run in the form of parallel minor first, then sequentially. And sequentially. Okay. So, for example, I'm again saying that. So, if I'm running this flow, maybe first session, fourth session, and seventh session. Next, two, three, four, five, six. So, like this. The status would be like this, or else another outcome also there, one, four, seven, maybe five, two, three, six. So this is also one of the 
away. Okay. So once this first session, first session ran successfully means, so these two sessions will uh, run sequentially at any time. Okay. Once this fourth session ran means, these five and six run sequentially at any time. Once this seventh means, then if, if there is any sessions are there, so that will run sequentially. Okay, hope you clear all this. But, so what I want to do means, so I have one requirement. What is that? So first of all, if I run this session, so first, first session will run, and it will come to the fourth session. And after that fourth session, it will come to the seventh session. Okay, but I don't want to run this session until sixth session is going to run. Until sixth session is going to run. I need to stop this session. So for that, what I'm going to do, I can use the event wait. Right? So I can use the event wait. Okay, for that. I can use the event right. I'm disconnecting this one. Okay, here I'm using the event. Okay. This is my event right. Event wait. Okay. So I'm connecting like this from start to event wait, event wait to session server. Okay. So what is my requirement? So if only session six six is completed. Then only this event wait will trigger. Then event seven need to run. So for the here I'm taking after completion of this session six, I'm taking the event price. Here I'm taking the event price. This is event price. This is event price. Okay. okay. So if I run this first flow, so what would be my outcome like like this? First one is first session and fourth session. Then, if I'm not using this event rate, so it will run seven. But here I'm using event rate, so event seven it don't run. Next, two, three, next four, five, six. So now, the execution came to here to the sixth session. Then after completion of this session, it will raise the event. Raise the event means automatically it will trigger the event right. So it will raise the event means automatically event uh, rate trigger. Then session seven will execute at final. Finally. Session will execute. Okay. So this is my requirement. Okay. Now we'll see the informatica. Now it's going to work.
So this is my session. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So if I run this workflow, first one, next to seven, next to four, like in parallel. One, seven, four. Whatever it is, one, four, seven also. Okay. It will run parallel after completion of this. So sequential execution. Like two, five, six, three, two, five, and six, three. So, likewise, sequentially it will execute. First, it will come to parallel, then, after it will go to sequential execution. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I want to use the event. Event rate and event price. Okay. So if you want to use the event, if you want to use the event price, you should use the event rate. Okay. So where you are going to use the event rate here in seventh session, you should use the event rate. Okay. So this is the event weight. I'm taking the event weight here. I'm connecting from start to event weight. And the event weight to seventh session. Okay. Next, event rise. Where I need to rise that event. Where I need to trigger that event. So from here, after this session six, I need to use the event price. Okay, this is my event price. So I'm connecting the event price like this. Okay. So I, I attach the event price and event price. So what would be the my uh, what would be my output type? So it will come like this. So parallelly, this is first and fourth sessions will execute. Then it won't execute. This session, uh, seven, seven session, it won't execute. And sequentially, this uh, session is going to execute. So if it is came to the sixth session, the event price has triggered to the event type. So it will come to here. Then seventh session is going to execute. This is my entire flow. Okay, here I need to uh, do one configuration here. So for that, what I'm going to do. So I need to go to, I need to go to purpose, edit, events. So I'm giving my event, my event. Okay. Now go to event price, double click on event price. Properties user defined event is there, right? So go to here, we set up my event, whatever you've given in edit in workflow. So that event you set up it. Okay. Next, here also go to event wipe, double click, go to events, and take the user defined, user defined. Okay. And click on here. My event is there. Just search it and apply. Save it. Then start the workflow. Now you know, sir. First scenario, first event and fourth event. So the first session and fourth session executed. So then event wait. So then First, first one, fourth one executed. Then it's the event where it won't execute the seven. Okay. So then it will go to fifth, second. Okay. That is the fifth. Yeah. Fifth, 
second, next, third, third, sixth. So like a sequentially, it will go like a sequentially. So after completion of this sixth, after completion of this sixth, even price will trigger. Even price trigger, and it, it will send the request to the event right. Okay, then event seven will execute. Then event seven will execute. So this is the process. Um, how the workflow will execute by using event event rise. Okay, so if you want to use the event uh, rise, you should use the event right task here. Okay, so likewise, you can perform with the event rise and the event event rise and the event right task. Hope you clear all these things. Thank you.